In this video, we're going to have a look at unit conversion, specifically converting between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. So in this example, you're asked to do two things. First of all, convert negative 2 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, and also in part B, to convert 59 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. The formula that we're going to be working with is provided here, and F denotes the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, while C denotes the temperature in degrees Celsius. First of all, before we take this problem up together, go ahead and try it out on your own. Part A, you'll find, should be quite easy because all you have to do is replace the temperature in degrees Celsius with negative 2.0 as given in the question. So once you do that, you'll be able to solve for F, the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Part B is a bit trickier because our formula gives Fahrenheit as a function of Celsius, and we want to do the opposite. We want to find the temperature in degrees Celsius given the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. What you could do is to rearrange the formula to solve for the C. Alternatively, you can first go ahead and substitute in the 59 degrees Fahrenheit for F, and then rearrange to solve for C. So whether you choose to rearrange to solve for C using the F's and the C's without substituting anything in, or first substituting in F equals 59 and then rearranging to solve for C, that's what you're ultimately going to have to do. So again, go ahead, try this out, and we'll continue together once you're done. So let's go ahead and have a look at the solution. So for part A, we want to find the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit when the temperature in degrees Celsius is negative 2.0 degrees. So what we're going to do is write out our formula and replace C with negative 2.0. Next, let's go ahead and punch this through our calculator. We're going to take negative 2.0, multiply it by 9, divide it by 5, and then once we've done that, we're going to add 32. What we find is that we get an answer of 28.4. So what we've got then is that negative 2.0 degrees Celsius is equal to 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So we finished part A. Now for part B, we start with the fact that F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. We know that F is 59, and so what that means is that 59 is equal to 9 fifths C plus 32. We need to find C. The first thing we can do is subtract 32 from both sides to try to isolate C on the right. And that means we're going to try to bring all our number terms to the left. So if we subtract 32 from both sides, we're going to get 27 equals 9 fifths C. So again, all we've done is subtracted 32 from both sides. On the right, that means we just have 9 fifths C remaining, and on the left, we had 59 minus 32, which is 27. Next, to solve for C, what we have is 9 fifths C is equal to 27. So if we want to isolate for C on its own, we have to multiply by 5 and divide by 9, because right now, C is being multiplied by 9 and divided by 5. So by multiplying by 5 over 9, what will happen is we'll just get C on its own on the right. Of course, we can't just multiply the right-hand side by 5 over 9 and not do the same thing to the left. So in fact, on the left, we also multiply by 5 over 9. And again, what this does is isolates for C because C was being multiplied by 9. So we've divided both sides by 9. And C was also being divided by 5. So now we've multiplied both sides by 5. And if you work this out, let me just write C on the left-hand side now, as that's how we're used to seeing it, you'll get an answer of 15. So what this means then is that 59 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 15 degrees Celsius. And we finish solving the problem.